This short video covers the creation of a Windows disk storage computer that is to be rack mounted with three other computers covered in our first video. As the space left in the 19 inch rack was limited, everything about this design needed to be about economy of space. To pack as many disk drives in as possible, I chose the IC dock frames, each holding six 2.5 inch drives, in the equivalent of a 5.25 inch drive bay. With two of those, I could pack 12 times 2 terabyte drives in the system. For the motherboard, I chose the ASRock QC5000M ITX board, as it was small, with a 4 core passively cooled processor, and could take at least 8 gigabytes of memory. Additionally, its power needs were minimal. The board was to be mounted in an aluminium frame of MakerBeam struts. The boot drive was to use the SanDisk 128GB MSATA SSD mounted in an MSATA to SATA converter board, which took up the least amount of space, shown here with the red SATA cable going into it. As the motherboard only has two SATA ports, I installed firstly an 8-port SATA card into the single PCI slot via an extension cable. While initial testing could be done with a server power supply, I needed something smaller, but still able to run all 12 disk drives, two SATA cards and the processor. As in previous builds, I went for the HTPlex power supplies, trying first the HTPlex 200 watt unit, then decided on the 400 watt version, which is a seriously impressive piece of kit. This came in two parts, the AC to DC converter, enclosed in a metal casing, shown with its small cooling fan, and the DC to ATX converter that plugs into the motherboard. This layout fitted in with the space constraints to give a compact but powerful solution. At the very back of the assembly is a large industrial Noctua 140mm fan, which runs remarkably quietly but still provides enough airflow to keep the whole compact assembly cool. The first SATA card has enough ports to handle only 8 drives, so an additional 5 port SATA card was piggybacked off it to give us enough SATA slots to support 12 drives. Short SATA cables were sourced as the amount of room within the frame was minimal, and longer cables would obstruct airflow. Now we see the fully populated computer with MSATA card, two SATA multi-port cards, 8GB of memory and power supply all connected. The choice of components kept the wiring to a minimum and helped promote a good airflow through the frame. The design of the frame went through many iterations to find the best place for everything. For a power switch, I used the ModMy Toys 19mm momentary switches, a very solid and long-lasting switch. The facing grill was cut out of polypropylene sheet and spray painted with black Plasti Dip. The 12 disk drives are managed using Windows storage spaces to allow all 12 disks to appear as one volume, mirrored to have each file stored on two separate drives. There are other solutions for NAS type systems, but this solution has a fair amount of flexibility and was sufficient for the needs of the project. The completed machine runs MS SQL Server and provides logging space for the three work computers installed in the same rack. I'll put links in the description below to the websites where much of this equipment can be sourced. Thank you for watching.